Hey, I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show in which we try stuff for the first time. Today, we have a very exciting day because one of our lovely subscribers, Toby Vega, sent us presents in the mail. And today, we are going to do science. Science! <laughs> in lieu of having a Patreon page, we have set up an Amazon wish list for things for us to try and make videos out of it. So if you ever want to support us, instead of a Patreon or PayPal, you can get us stuff off of our Amazon wish list which we will link below. What we have here is a mineral science kit and a geode break 'em rock 'em sock 'em kit. Rock 'em sock 'em. I'm so excited. This is definitely in my interest place. I guess this is going to be kind of like an unboxing of these science kits and we're going to test them out and uh, show you show you our progress. So uh, let's uh, jump into that. Let's see. So this is a mineral science kit and it's by Toysmith, which is funny though because this is this is not a toy. Discover the world around you. 15 specimens with a magnifier, a nail to test hardness, and a strike place to test powder color. So let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, let's open this up. It says, Ooh. uncover the mysteries in common rocks. Learn to test, classify, and identify using the tools and 15 rock specimens included in this kit. We got a strike plate, we got a nail, we got this adorable magnifying glass <laughs> that I'm in love with now. Some instructions. The minerals are naturally occurring. Minerals, minerals are naturally occurring. Not just these ones. Please hire, general. please hire me for all your book needs. Many minerals can be identified using close observation and some simple tests. The specimens are numbered so you can find out if you're right. Ooh, Ooh I like that. Watch this. Look, ready, ready, ready. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. So what are we doing? We're going to use the defining factors, color, luster, streak, and hardness to figure out what each rock is. Oh, because this one, okay, I get it. Because yeah. here it tells you what, what colors they are, their luster, their uh -huh. Oh, ooh, okay. Let us begin. Ahem, color. Ahem. Note the color of your specimen. So number one, what is the color? Greeny. Greenish, clearish gray. Uh -huh. Number two. Green. It's a cream, you know, the yellowish white. Three. Brown. Uh, okay. Six. Whiter. A silvery, shiny. Oh, ooh, like a, ooh, look at the look streak at the of gold shiny. in there. <gasps> Black with gold. Ooh, I like it. That's a saint's rock. Nine. Like a, ugly. Ugly white. Is that brown? Brown with like browner. Uh, ooh, I like this one. Yeah. It's so delicate. Marble. Marble molten. Just looks like coal. If, if coal is actually a color. All right, step one is done. Completed. All right, step two. What's the next thing we're measuring? Luster. Luster refers to the way a mineral reflects light. Is it shiny like metal? It could be also be adamantine. That's not a word I can read. Brilliant like a diamond is what it says. I didn't know there was going to be a test. Brilliant like a diamond? I feel like we should know that. Like, girls are supposed to know the words that describe diamonds. I clearly, I stick with the word shiny. I haven't gotten a diamond yet, so I don't know. <laughs> it's slightly opaque. Chalky. Can I use chalky? Sure, that works. Earthy. Earthy. Ooh, this is earthy. Shiny. Is shiny an option? Uh -huh. I don't, I would not call this earthy. No. Is otherworldly an option? Otherworldly, I think we can add that to the scientific terms. Would you, would you consider this greasy? I don't know what greasy looks like then. Yeah, if it's not, if that's not what you would describe as greasy. Uh, I'm gonna put a little N greasy. This is just ugly. This is the one I said ugly? Yeah, it is. You just, <laughs> just write the word ugly. I really don't again. like this rock. <laughs> Next, we have the streak test. A streak test determines the color of the mineral in powder form. Rub your sample across a ceramic tile. That color can help us identify. So like white. Oh, its streak okay. is white. Like that's, that's what it becomes when you powder it. Number one, white. But here's where it gets helpful, is this brown. But this could have been different actually when you streak it. See how similar these two are? Mm -hmm. This might actually be different. And how you can... Yeah, oh, that was, see, wow. now that's, that's why streak test is so mm -hmm. important and it actually can help you identify. These rocks look so similar, but their so, streaks are so different. So three is a reddish brown. Yeah. And um, 11 is a dark brown. Yes. Ooh, that's really a lot white. of white. <gasps> wow. That's really like, dark. Look how like, 
easily it came off, too. Yeah, that's really dark, too. Oh, it's on my finger. Ooh! Okay, streak test done. Completed. Next, this is the good one, the hardness test. Hardness. Mineral hardness is measured by the Moss Hardness Scale. Mo's, Moss, M-O-H-S, Ma, Mo. It's someone's last name. Moe's. Moe's. On each level of the scale, a mineral can be scratched by something of the same or higher level, but nothing lower. So if you scratch this, if it can be scratched by a five, then it's below a five. But not, I mean, but it's not, not well. easily, yeah. Right. So, so we'd say it's below, it's below a five if I can scratch five. it with this. Uh -huh. So, I mean, we're talking about probably like a four or three then, not yeah. like a. So you, I would say, I would say a four. Yeah, definitely. We'll go yep. four. Um, and I can, oh, am I scratching it or is it scratching I think this? scratched the nail. A 6.5 would be a steel file. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, so, so then it's... this is, this is probably a six then. Probably, yeah. I'm gonna go with a six on number yeah, two. Yeah, for me. Yeah, look, that's scratching that. Yeah, yeah, I'll go give it a four. Definitely a four. <laughs> Not what I expected to happen. You know, like a one? Wow. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Wait, wait. Two? Wow. Isn't that cool? <laughs> this is why I like rocks so much. But now. Now we have to try to figure out which one's which? So or are those the answers? These are the answers. Are they in order? They're in order. They're numbered. Okay, so we can't. We're going to see if we got it right then, I guess, yeah. is what we have yeah. to do. Okay, so number one was what? Number one was fluorite. Right. Mm -hmm. And what's it say? Green, yellow, purple. We have greenish, clear, gray. Perfect. Okay. Streak was white. Uh huh. Hardness is a four. Yep. Number two is feldspar. Feldspar microline. Mm -hmm. And the hardness is a six. We got this hardness yeah, right. Yay. Hardness right. All right. Hematite is number mm -hmm. three. It's a five ish. Nice. Good job, us. Uh, our hardness is a six to a 6.5. Wow. Whoa. We have our hardness at a Four. We were wrong on that one. Oh, okay. This is the one that I'm going to check it as wrong. Okay, okay. this is a test. We have to, we'll have to figure out what our average is afterward. I say we got that one wrong. Six. Number six is calcite. Okay. I'm giving us a, I'm giving us a yes on that one. Yes. Mica or Mica. muscovite. We did use pearly. Yes, we got that. Oh, we got three. I think we're that's close, close enough. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So we missed, I mean, solid misses on four of them. So we basically just got a B on this test. I don't think that's how math works. <laughs> I think it's definitely a C. You think it's a C? Oh, maybe it is a C. Yeah. <laughs> official I mean, we official could, score. Official score. I think this will be fun for you to play with Julius. Yeah. Like do that as like a, with the nephew trick. Yes. If you guys have kids, I think that's a fun yeah. little science. You have a kid that like loves this kind of rocky stuff, wants to be an archeologist or whatever. This is a great, That's fun. a great gift. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna say I had a really good time parenting you through. You did parent me through that. <laughs> we're, such, we're such children. But now for like the real fun. Oh my God. This no is more science. Fun. This is like, this is breaking things. We are gonna break these geodes. Ooh. Mm. National Geographic geode translations. There are many different ways to open a geode, but no matter how you do it, be patient. <laughs> Lame. Um, if you want the geode to break into large pieces, don't just hit it as hard as you can with a hammer, because geodes are often hollow. You will usually be left with a bunch of little pieces if you do this. Ooh, like this. <laughs> but safety for Sean. <laughs> but I, but I say if we can't get into one of these fast enough, we just smash it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go let's over try. to the. Let's go over to a, a, a ground. Um, let's go relocate. And we're gonna try and do this the right way, but we may end up doing this the wrong way. Oh yeah, because I have no patience. No, not at all. This will be like the bath bombs all over again. <laughs> Let's do this. But this one, I wanna know what's in here. All right, I'm gonna try and do the thing right. Me too. I'm gonna hurt myself. Make, am I supposed to be making an equator? Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Ow! I already hurt myself. <laughs> Ooh, this has a hardness of, I'm gonna say a six. Oh, well, 
I wonder then, because this probably doesn't have a hardness of a six. They let children do this? Children are definitely going to get hurt. There's no way that a child has a patience enough to get in this. You know, no, actually it's the exact opposite. Yeah. Only children have the patience to do this. I got mine. Got it figured out? I'm holding it with my feet. So it won't roll. This will never happen. Yeah, we're never gonna get there. It's never gonna happen. I just wanna see what's inside of it. <laughs> Safety first. Don't do what I'm doing, children. Do as I say. Yeah, use that side. Oh, <gasps> you did it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how pretty it is! Shiny, but they're right. I did smash it to bits. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's pretty. <gasps> you just did it the right way. Oh, 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 oh. You did a good job. Oh, wow, I got two pieces. Wow, good job, Nelly. Oh, 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 wow, though, but look at those That's big... That's the one that was rolling That's around. Was, oh, there's two of them. Wow, look. Look, look, look. These are so pretty. Oh, I look like I have a beard. No, we look insane. You do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one's good. Ooh. It's not one. Just, it's just a... Yeah, there's nothing in this one right here. Why is that so hard? <laughs> Good thing we're wearing our goggles. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Yes. I mean, my hand kind of hurts from all that scour scouring. Is that the word I want to use? I'm going to go scoring. Scouring. This was fun. <laughs> Thank you, Toby. And if you guys want to uh, ever get us anything from our Amazon list, we'll put that link below. Or if you have anything that you want us to do, go ahead and send it our way. We've got a few more to do, so we're going to keep going. But I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara Try Stuff. A Don't. show in which we tried things for the first time. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, comment below, it really does help the channel when you do that kind of stuff. And uh, all right, back to science. <laughs> <laughs>